Welcome to another AnyNode video workshop. In this edition, we invite you to sit back and watch how survivable branch appliance in Microsoft Office 365 can be integrated and configured in AnyNode. With AnyNode and the survivable branch appliance, it is now possible to make voice calls to external or internal phone numbers, even when disconnected from the Microsoft Teams cloud. With AnyNode SBC and the survivable branch appliance, abbreviated SBA, you can prepare your phone system for outages in the cloud and make voice connectivity available. The SBA is an additional Windows application that is automatically included as a service with every Windows-based AnyNode deployment. This ensures that voice calls can be made to external or internal phone numbers even if the connection to the Microsoft Teams cloud service is lost. When the user logs onto the Teams desktop client, the Teams client collects the data it needs to register with the SBA, if configured. If this data is available, the client registers with the installed SBA within 15 minutes. To do this, it must be accessible via the FQDN of the SBA. As soon as the user is registered, the entry in the user table appears in the SBA view. On the existing Teams node, another transport connection to the SBA is configured. If a call is now to be set up in the direction of Teams, any node sets up two calls, one to the Teams cloud and one to the local SBA. As long as the Teams client has not reported to the SBA that it is disconnected from the Teams cloud, the calls are rejected by the SBA and the connection always goes via the cloud. Now, if there is a disruption for the Teams client to the Teams cloud, it notifies the SBA. From this point on, the calls are no longer rejected by the SBA but are forwarded to the Teams client. Outgoing calls from the Teams client are automatically established to the Teams cloud or the SBA, depending on whether the Teams client has a connection to the cloud or not. Thus, there is a possibility that some users communicate via the Office 365 cloud and others with connection problems communicate via the SBA. The Survivable Branch Appliance SBA, is a distributable code provided by Microsoft and is embedded in current AnyNode setups of version 4.4 or later. AnyNode must be configured for media bypass on the Teams side to ensure that the Microsoft Teams client in the branch can use direct media. Please ensure that ports 4444 and 8443 are available on the SBA for Teams clients. Check the firewall rules. SBA uses port 5061 for SIP signaling, TLS over TCP. The SBA server must be assigned to an FQDN which the DNS name resolves to its local IP address. This FQDN is used for the AnyNode SBC communication. The following Teams clients from Microsoft are supported, Microsoft Teams Windows and Mac OS Desktop. With a successful SBA configuration, the following call functionalities are available in offline mode. Making PSTN calls via the local SBA SBC with media flow via any node. Receiving PSTN calls via the local SBA SBC with media flow via any node. Holding and resuming PSTN calls. For the SBA feature to work, the team's client needs to know which SBAs are available in each branch and which SBAs are assigned to users in that branch. The configuration steps are to create the SBAs, create the team's branch failover policy, and assign the policy to the users. All configuration is done using the Skype for Business Online PowerShell commandlets. Connect to Office 365 using the appropriate commands. For more information, see our TechNote Microsoft Teams Direct Routing. Use the new CS Team Survivable Branch Appliance command to create an SBA. You need the following parameters for this command, FQDN, site, and description. In our example the FQDN is sba4.lab.anynode.de. Please note that if you add a new Survivable Branch Appliance, it may take some time before you can use it in the Survivable Branch Appliance policies. The same applies to assigning a policy to a user, there it can also take some time before the SBA is shown in the output of GetCS Online User. Create the policy with the command. New CS Team Survivable Branch Appliance Policy 
Here, too, the FQDN SBA4 and the identity SB Agrimony were used for our example. Assign the SBA policy to a user. To do this, use the command. Grant CS Team Survivable Branch Appliance Policy. In our example, this is the user spawn. Verify that media bypass for Teams Direct Routing is enabled for any node. Get CS Online PSTN Gateway. The following command enables media bypass, set CS Online PSTN Gateway. To register any node as a survivable branch appliance SBA, application in the Azure AD tenant, go to App Registrations in the Portal view and proceed to New Registration. Then set an application name and select accounts in this organization directory only. Please note that this is currently the only account type supported by Microsoft. In the redirect URI settings, select web and set the following URI. When everything is configured, proceed to register. The registered application for any node will now be created. The application, client, ID and directory, tenant, ID will be required later in the any node frontend by the Microsoft Teams SBA wizard. Select Authentication in the left menu tree and select the tokens that will be issued by the authorization endpoint. Check the Access Token and ID Token boxes. The supported account type should be set to accounts in this organization directory only. When you are done, click Save. Switch to API Permissions in the left menu tree. Click on Add Permission. On the right, select APIs used by my organization and search for Skype and Teams Tenant Admin API. Now set the type of permission. Select Application Permissions. Your application will run as a background service or daemon without a user logged in. Check application underscore access underscore custom underscore SBA underscore appliance and click add permission. Then grant the administrator consent. If the grant administrator consent for client button is grayed out. Check the assigned roles of the last user logged into Azure portal. Some roles may not be set for this user account, such as the privileged administrator role. Once the administrator consent has been granted for the tenant, the state in the status column now displays as granted. A secret string used by any node for the registered any node SBA application must be generated now. This string can be called a password that will be used by the application to prove its identity. For this task, switch to the certificates and secrets dialog. Once there, use the new client secret key button. In the next client secrets dialog, we add the user defined name. We set the validity to one year in this example. If everything is correct, create the secret client key by clicking on add. The newly created secret client key will now be generated with a random value. Use the copy to clipboard function as this value must be available and entered as the client secret. Please note that you must copy and save the value of the secret client key immediately after it is generated. It is not possible to do this later. AnyNode provides the SBA service for Windows in the installation file. However, this is only installed on explicit request during the installation process. You must install AnyNode version 4.4 or higher. 
In any node setup, after agreeing to the license terms, click Options. Check Install Microsoft Teams Survivable Branch Appliance and click OK. You can now proceed with the installation process. Before proceeding with the configuration in any node, you should check if the Microsoft Teams SBA service is running. If this service is not present, install any node version 4.4 or higher. We start the configuration in the any node frontend with an initial configuration with a Teams node and a provider node. For more information on the initial configuration, see our video workshop Microsoft Teams Direct Routing. Start the Microsoft Teams SBA Assistant under Extras. The Microsoft Teams SBA Assistant will assist you with the connection and general configurations. Enable the SBA Configuration Service with Enable Microsoft Teams SBA Configuration Services. The wizard will now state that no setup has been done yet and the appropriate parameters are expected now. Click on Configuration to start with the configuration. The Microsoft Teams SBA Assistant opens. In the first wizard dialog, a valid certificate must be set to allow communication and authentication with the Microsoft Teams client. Select import of the certificate and private key and upload the certificate and private key. You need to make sure that the certificate is a valid certificate that the Teams client will accept. Select Use the certificate of a Teams node and select the appropriate Teams node. This allows the Teams node's certificate to be used as a trusted fingerprint source for the SBA. Enter the identity or FQDN of the SBA in the general field. The field below contains the directory, tenant, ID, which you will find in the Azure portal for the registered application. Then activate the function Add the Identity and Certificate to the Microsoft Teams node. This will add the identity to the Microsoft Teams connectivity object. The certificate is added to the trusted certificates of the network security profile. In the secure dialog you have to enter the application client ID. You can also find this in the Azure portal. You have secured the secret as described earlier in Secrets and Certificates in the Azure portal and can now enter it in the field below. Optional log settings can be made in the logger dialog. The default settings are usually sufficient. The SBA wizard will now update all settings. It should now display Microsoft Teams SBA connection configuration successfully updated. In case of error messages, you should check the previous configuration again. Click on Close. You will now see an overview of the current configuration. Click on Teams SBA users to view a list of Microsoft Teams SBA users. Please note here that it may take 15 minutes to register all participating Teams clients to the SBA. Do not forget to finally save the configuration by clicking on Commit. In the Teams node in the Microsoft Teams connectivity object, you can deactivate the SBA connectivity again or change the SBA URI. Especially after importing configurations, check the settings in the fields. The correct SIP node must be set for SBA, in this case of course the Teams node. SBA must be enabled and the correct SBA URI must be set. Click on Edit to enter these. switch to monitor mode. In the dashboard, the Microsoft Teams direct routing node should now show four active transport connections. 
click on the node and check the other details of the transport connections. The three Microsoft PSTN hubs and the SBA must be operational here. Activate a trace recording and run a call test. In the call history details, you will notice that two calls went out. A look at the trace will reveal even more details, the first call went to the Microsoft Cloud and was handled normally. The second call went to the SBA and was rejected because the cloud has no outage. This brings us to the end of this video workshop and thanks for your attention. Have a great day.